Hey guys, what's up, it's Gravity, and uh, welcome to the new filming location. I have been working on this spot for quite some time. It is still not done, but it's finally ready to show in a video. I've been talking about in multiple videos how I just wanna turn my whole basement into an awesome YouTube studio, be able to shoot in multiple places, and this is the start. But today we're gonna be covering five tips that I have for brand new YouTubers, almost like five mistakes to avoid doing if you're a new YouTuber. And I don't wanna ramble, I wanna get right into it, see if we can make this like a five tips in five minutes video. So let's get started. So I've split out the tips into the sections that go into making a video. We've got pre-production, we've got production and the actual filming of the video, and then we've got editing. And then at the end, I've got one tip for just content creation in whole. It is by far my most important tip about how to stay not stressed and how to not burn out when creating content. So make sure you stick around for that. So tip number one is scripts, writing scripts for your video. Now I've said this before in videos that I don't really write scripts and that's true, I don't. But recently I've been starting to write a lot more. Like I don't write a exact verbatim script. Like I'm not reading to you right now. I'm just speaking off the cuff, but it's really important to write down bullet points about everything you wanna talk about in your video. And you're gonna notice as you write down bullet points or as you write down the sections that you wanna talk about, your videos are gonna be a lot cleaner and they're gonna make a lot more sense. Just writing it out keeps you from rambling and going off on tangents that you didn't expect to go on. And I have begun to write out every single one of my videos. You're going to find that your videos get recorded way faster. You stay on topic a lot better and your videos are just going to come together much better when you already have planned what it's going to look like. So tip number one, write scripts or at least bullet point out your videos. So there was my best pre-production tip that I have for you. Let's move into production with tip number two. Do not shoot against a blank wall. I have seen way too many people doing this right here, just shooting against a flat wall in their house and it just does not look good. It looks very amateur, doesn't look like a backdrop. Just pull yourself away from the wall a little bit, push your camera back, just get as much distance behind you and the wall as possible. This is gonna add a lot of depth to your shot, add some stuff behind you and it's gonna be the difference between your shot looking like this and having a shot like this. As you can see, we've got some depth now. We've pulled ourselves away from the background, even if that means cramming yourself into the corner of your room or up against the wall, just pull yourself away from that back wall as much as possible. Add some items back there and you can see it makes for a much more interesting shot. It's not just a flat wall. We've got depth. We've got items to show off the nice blurry depth of field that we have back there. It's just a much more interesting looking shot. But if you have to shoot against a flat wall, maybe add a little bit of light on the wall or a splash of color or something. Just make the shot look a little bit more interesting. And now sticking with production, let's move on to tip number three. This one is do not use the in-camera mic inside of your camera. I can promise you that as you spend more money and get nicer cameras, even up into the range of cinema cameras in the thousands of dollars, you are not getting better in camera mics. And that is because they are not meant to be the main mic you use when you're recording videos. They're meant for scratch tracks and reference tracks just to have something to maybe sync your audio to later. You wanna have a shotgun mic or an on-camera mic, just something else to plug into the camera or plug into a recorder to have instead of the in-camera mics. And you want me to prove to you the difference it can make? Right now I'm using a shotgun mic just outside of the frame to record the audio for this video and this is what it sounds like. But if I quickly switch to the in-camera mic, you can see how quickly the production quality of this video drops. Nobody wants to sit around and watch a video when you sound like this. And you don't even need a fancy shotgun mic like this one just out of frame. You can get just an on-camera mic from Rode like this one, put it on top of your camera, and your audio is going to be amazingly better than the one that's inside of the camera. It is not meant to sound good with the mic inside the camera. Even this is going to improve your audio quality by like a hundred times. But a little bit of a tip with these as well, even though these are marketed as on-camera mics and can attach to the camera using this cold shoe right here, you can actually attach these to a stand using the screw right here and buy extensions for the cable to run them into your camera, then you can have this down here just off frame. And the closer you get a microphone to your mouth, the better it's going to sound. So even just an on-camera mic like this, just out of frame is going to sound freaking amazing compared to the in-camera microphone. So make sure you're not using this in-camera microphone. Make sure you're using something like an on-camera microphone or get that microphone off the camera, buy an extension, get it just outside of frame, run it into your camera, run it into a recorder, and you're gonna have much better audio quality. And people are actually gonna wanna stick around and watch your videos. Nobody wants to watch videos with terrible audio. Now that we got the production tips out of the way, let's move into editing with tip number four, and that is taking time to level your audio. What does that mean? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. I hope you enjoy it. That was my intro. Now let's get into the video. So today we're going to be talking about 
that is leveling your audio or actually the lack thereof. Please do not be this guy, the guy that just has music that is just piercing your ears, but you can barely hear what he's saying. And then just out of nowhere with one cut, he's just screaming at your face and it's so loud. Please take the time to level your audio. Pay attention to the audio meters inside of your editor. Bring your music and your voice to a similar level. Yes, obviously, if you're talking and you wanna have a music track underneath what you're saying, you can bring that music track down towards behind your vocals so you can hear your dialogue, you can hear what you're saying. But then if you need to cut to a B-roll sequence or cut to an intro and you bring that music back up, make sure it's matching about what your voice was at in the previous shot. For a good rule of thumb, if you're looking at your audio meters, your audio should be around negative six decibels right about here. So you wanna make sure your music's hitting around there, your voice is hitting around there when they're at their loudest point. Obviously, like I said, if you're talking, bring your music down. If you have sound effects, bring those sound effects down. But your voice and your intro music, they should all be around the same area. So make sure you're watching through your video paying attention to that audio level, make sure nothing's spiking and peaking, and make sure you're not talking too quiet. You really don't wanna just destroy headphone users and make them not wanna watch your videos. I know if I'm ever watching a video and someone's talking to me and then the music just punches me in the face, it immediately makes me wanna click away because not only does it show that they're a little bit amateur when it comes to editing, but it also just kind of annoys me and makes me not wanna watch their content. So make sure you're leveling your audio. Please, please, please pay attention. Negative six decibels, keep it around there. That's a great rule of thumb. Please respect the headphones phone users. All right, so we've covered pre-production, we've covered production and filming, we've covered editing. It's time to move on to the most important tip. Tip number five, this one's about you and about content creation. I've told people this in live streams before. I've told people this in person. Please do not set external deadlines unless you know that you are ready. And what I mean by that is do not promise I'm gonna post a video every single week. I'm gonna post a video every Thursday or I'm gonna post a video every day or two videos a week. Do not make that external deadline public to people unless you've proved to yourself that you can be consistent. It's just adding unnecessary stress on yourself that you have to finish a video every week or every day and your content could be lacking if you force yourself to do that. If you haven't proved to yourself that you can be consistent. If you tell everyone you're gonna post a video on Friday and then you can't do that, if something pops up, you never know when something in your life's gonna pop up. Just because you promised it to them, you're gonna feel way worse and you're gonna get much more stressed out that you can't meet that deadline. Yes, consistency is key and consistency helps with growth on YouTube, but you can be consistent without telling people you're gonna be consistent. Set internal deadlines for yourself. Tell yourself, I wanna post a video this day, but don't tell people you're going to post a video that day. Why put that unnecessary stress on yourself? When you can be consistent, you can get the YouTube algorithm to see that you're consistent without telling people you're gonna be consistent. Now that doesn't mean that you should never set external deadlines. You should never advertise that you're gonna post a video every week. You'll notice that I advertise that I'm gonna post a video every weekend and that's because I proved to myself that I knew I could get one video done every single week and post it on the weekend. I found out that I can do that. But if you've never done weekly videos before, Make sure you can do weekly videos. Do them without saying you're doing weekly videos until you realize that I can do this. Then you can advertise to people, hey, come back every single Friday for a new video. If you don't prove it to yourself that you can do this and you find out after advertising, I'm gonna post a video every Friday that you can't meet that goal, all it's gonna do is stress you out and make you feel bad that you let down your viewers that you're not gonna get a video out this week or the next week because you weren't ready and you overpromised the content that you were gonna be giving them. That is my number one tip that I tell people. Anytime somebody comes to me and says, why am I feeling burnt out? Why do I wanna not make content? Why am I so stressed? That is what I always tell them. Try to remove all external deadlines. Just post things when you wanna post things. You can be consistent without saying you're being consistent. That is my number one tip for content creation. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the five tips and I hope you enjoyed the new setup going on here, the new location that we're filming at. Obviously, I'm still gonna be doing things behind my desk in my normal stream room, but I just wanna be doing more videos around just basic content creation, helping YouTubers and people to shoot better videos. And I'm gonna be doing those kinds of videos right here at this new setup, leaving the desk stuff and all that to After Effects, editing, all that kind of things. But if I'm talking about filmmaking, cinematography, how to make better videos, I wanna do that right here. And I hope you guys enjoy what it looks like and enjoy the new video. I've got new lights. I can, I can shut them off now. There's so much going on, so much being added to the channel. And I hope you guys enjoy every single bit of it. I will see you in the next video.